Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I love all different types of hair, right? But I'm not gonna lie, I my full time job doesn't love lace fronts like I do. I work in care, and when you work in care, well, when you work like I work in care, you'd be sweating, okay? I'd be running around. And I work those long shifts. I work 7 a.m. till 9 p.m. And I'm running around all day. Do you think my lace front lasts me more than half an hour? Because if yours does, perfect. With that being said, I don't like using very strong gels like Bold Hold and all that. I literally only reuse what's to be. So maybe I will try Bold Hold like, and stuff in the future, but for now, my edges don't appreciate it so we've got a little so when the situation going on here this is my hair the front is my hair as you can see and it just makes the whole wig look so much more seamless so obviously I did cut my lace front into a v-part wig so, anyway, if you're interested to see how I got this V-part wig out of my lace front and obviously how, I'm sewn, how I've sewed it down for longevity and all of that good stuff, keep on watching. Because I'm going to show you. I'm going to hook you up. I've got tips. I've got you. Okay. Well, if I never got you, guys, I am here because I've got you. I've always got you best believe that if you find this video helpful don't forget to share with share with whoever also would find this video helpful so please don't want to sponsor me just right now i started doing this hair and my hair straightener is broke so that is why i've got this little blown out look let's get into Let's get into this hair. I'm pretty sure this wig is from Beauty Forever. I've had it for a little while now. Um, the color did come in a 1B color. I have bleached it, so I've literally bleached it like one time. So basically what I'm doing is putting the wig on my head, making sure it fits right, and then basically just sorting out the part where I want the part to lay and all of that good stuff. And of course, just cutting the lace um, to make that V part. I don't know why I left that bit out. So what I'm doing now is I've just lined up how far the part in the wig goes. So I'm just going to do a rough parting for my leave out. It obviously doesn't need to be that straight of a part in because that's going to be covered up. The straight part in is really the actual middle part in that matter. Then twist it, braid it, do what you want with it. Just get it out the way so we can get onto the base braids. So I did go ahead and start my braids off camera. There's my anchor braid and obviously just the base. And I will now do the other side on cram camera. On camera just so you guys just so you guys can see me plat. I don't know if you want to have a look. But you go. Look tutorial.
right tutorial over braids are in um yeah so now we just need to obviously oil up our scalp because don't nobody want a dry scalp when we're putting on our wig and now let's get into the sewing to be honest the sewing bit is kind of self-explanatory um if you guys want a more in-depth talk through let me know but with that being said i'm going to let you guys watch me do my thing I'm curious to know, I've never tried a U-part wig, but what do you guys prefer and uh, what do you think is best, a V-part wig or a U-part wig, or even a lace front wig? You guys need to talk to me, you know, and let me know what's up. So here I've just trimmed off the excess lace and then I'm gonna got to be glue down the excess lace just so it's not like you know just in the way. I'm now just taking some mascara and I'm filling in the lace. I was gonna leave it looking like scalp but I think it looks better when it's um, got the mascara on looking a bit more darker to be honest. Y'all's taking out the leave out now, sort out that bit of hair. So obviously you want to make sure you comb it out, put some oil in there, get a good nice straight bust down middle part in, okay? Take your time with this, get a nice good good middle part in. So. This is the point in time when I had to struggle and use the hair curlers, so I thought it was funny, I thought I'd just quickly show you that because I didn't even have these curls at the end, I took them all out. As you can see here, I was over the curls, I combed them out, I combed the wig out, I just combed it all out. I was just going for a blow dried look to be honest, I was just a bit over the curls, I was over the straightener breaking, I was over it. 
or I get that beeswax obviously I'm going to use that to just tame the flyaways and just make everything a little bit more sleek you know right so this is what the hair looks like when it's down no baby hair's done it's cute it blends well it's, it's cute it's obviously versatile as i'm showing you you can put it in a ponytail or a bun or whatever so yeah and now i'm just taking that nairobi phone wrap and I'm just doing quick edges with it. I'm just chucking it into this little bun because it's literally like the end of the day of one and two I the main reason for this hairstyle was so obviously it can be worn to work um I work in care so you know I can't be working lace fronts in care because I'm just gonna sweat it a lot so hopefully I don't sweat this bit of leave out Ow. My hair straightener is broke, obviously that's why I'm using a curler um, and I've combed all the hair out so it just flows when I get a hair straightener I'm going to actually straighten it all out um, and yeah I think this look came out very cute if you guys enjoyed this video if you want more videos like this where I have leave out and stuff um, let your girl know because love a bit of leave out over here. I haven't done leave out in ages. Um, I've got much I like. It looks so much more cuter, so much more natural. I've got a big head, but it's cool. I just embrace. I just embrace the head. I'm cute. Cute big head. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video.